you had a plan that you set out to achieve and you need to be able to measure against that plan. And if you're missing that plan by a delta that just means that you can't see a path to ever catching back up, then that's the point that you need to reconsider what you're doing, right? And, and that, that's the point where you either have to be honest with the investor and saying, hey, oh, we're never gonna get to that goal. We could get to this goal. Are you happy in that goal? And if we are, then we're gonna need to put some more money and we, do we all, are we all happy in building that business? Or should we be thinking about building something else? Or do you want us to return the money that you've given us? And that's, you know, it's, it's very, very tough. But, you know, good entrepreneurs, if this is your dream, then you can always pivot, right? And there may be something that you're learning about. If you've gotten some way up the curve, there might be something that you've created. There might be some behavior that you've seen in the consumer or the customer you're trying to serve that tips you off on an opportunity that you know, could be left or right from the one that you set out to. But if, you, if you're being true to yourself all the way through that process and continually checking back on how am I going against the metrics that I set myself? And so it's really important to get that plan set up and not leave that to chance. So if you've got something to measure against, then you can determine, you know, do I have a snowballs in getting to where I set out to or do I need to rethink it? So hopefully you've taken money from someone whose advice you really value. In an ideal sense, they should be there with you, helping you judge how are you going against the plan, to be a sounding board, to play devil's advocate. You know, that's, that's the ideal scenario, right? Is when you've got someone who's sitting by your side. Because I think one of the, the really difficult thing is if you're forced to take money from someone who's not that sophisticated and can't really help you in your business in the early stages, they can sometimes drive, drive the worst behavioral outcomes. And you're more likely to blow up your business than you are to have the chance to create something of real value, right? Because they're kind of like, well, I gave you that money, I want you to spend it. And you're like, but oh, I'm not sure it's quite working out. And they're like, well, come on, no, keep pushing. You're not trying hard enough. And before you know it, you've blown the money and you've got nothing to show for it. In an ideal scenario, you've got a mentor who's your mentor and you never take money from them so they can be objective in the advice they give you. But, you know, I think that's tough and not a lot of people have enough time to do that. And a mentor can be a family member who's in a completely different walk of life, but whose advice you, you know, you just take and you know is sound. But from an investor, I think it is ideal if they can deliver you, you know, can give you that mentorship, can give you some advice along the way.